Hello and welcome. This is Robert Shine, Managing Director and Partner with Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Uh, for all our friends, family, clients out there, uh, we uh, we know that you're staying healthy and safe. Uh, and our thoughts and prayers to anybody who's been affected by the COVID-19. Um, I've we've received uh, just overwhelming feedback uh, and just wonderful support that you guys are at home, are watching and listening. And so we really, really, truly appreciate all of that. Again, this is a different world, new world. Uh, we're staying connected. My goal is one, communication to you guys. Um, give you what we're seeing, what we're thinking as it relates to your investments. Um, and, and we all know that your financial health also leads to your, 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 your regular health too. So this is helping ease some of the stress out there that the headlines are, are um, you know, we're subject to. And uh, our job is to see through the headlines and, and sort of sift through what actually is a net impact as it relates to our investments and client portfolios and how we navigate our world through that uh, or our way through that world. And so that's what we're doing here uh, as I give you the daily updates. And so today I wanted to get right into it as it relates to uh, phase four. You might have seen or read or even been reported that early indications, and even when I said this a couple weeks back, that Congress is going to go through several different phases. The analogy I use, because we're, we don't have baseball just yet, uh, at least the Major League Baseball did hint that they might start up in May or even June in, in Arizona, which is exciting news. I think that's big news for me. Uh, so I use the analogy of um, innings, right? One, two, three, four innings. Well, phase four is what the government's referring to, at least Congress, as it relates to more stimulus in, in the pipeline. Um, it appears that tomorrow we should see a vote from the Senate, um, and that might fail simply because politicians are going to sort of kick the can down the road and, and maybe uh, take a two week a hiatus for Easter, and then work on implementing more, I guess, of their own personal initiatives in there relative to their constituents uh, that they represent. Um, and they, you know, it's a good and bad thing. The good thing is, is that the government is there and they're, they're coming together. The bad thing is long-term effects of adding debt to the overall um, national debt. And that's, that's another big long-term conversation. Short-term, it appears that everyone in, in Congress is uh, going to be, for the most part, once they work out their differences, uh, uh, committed to phase four, which is helping small businesses, hospitals, more, there's more funding in hospitals and a few other programs out there. So it's a good, a good positive. Uh, I think the markets see through that and uh, they're actually um, rising in the last couple of days as a result of that. Well, this morning, my team and I jumped on a conference call with Brian Westbury, who's the chief economist for First Trust. And you know us here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management, we're huge fans of First Trust. Their entire shop, their economists, uh, and everything that they do um, is, is first class. And they produce quality content that when they, when Brian speaks, if you will, uh, Brian Westbury from First Trust, uh, or he tweets something, it's, it's, it's one of the top five economists or even um, guys that are on Wall Street that we listen to because they give just quality advice. Uh, and so Brian's sort of take home point today was that the market is seeing through, the US equity market is seeing through all of the bad economic data. So keep this in mind, over the next weeks and months to come, we will see the worst economic data that we've seen in, in a generation. Uh, whether it comes to unemployment rate, whether it comes to the GDP contraction, or even corporate earnings. And he actually did reference corporate earnings. He basically said that the market right now at current levels are pricing in a 50 to 75% decline in earnings uh, for calendar 2020. Uh, put that in perspective and let that sink in. I'll repeat that again. The market is, is pricing in a 50% to 75%. Now it's again, it's his guesstimation and he's been pretty accurate in, in years past uh, as to uh, corporate earnings contraction or decline. Uh, think about that. Now, I know that a lot of businesses are closed um, and, you know, our hearts go out to all of them. And, and I think that the government's assistance hopefully gets to them in time to keep the, the business open. Uh, but there's plenty of businesses out there, especially on the technology side, that are still, uh, you know, moving the economy uh, faster and stronger than ever. Uh, just think Amazon. Uh, I keep seeing a package every two, three minutes in my house because I got all the teenagers and I feel bad for the FedEx and UPS guys because they're always, you know, knocking on the door, dropping something off. It's a, it's a joke, of course, but uh, not too far off from reality. But those guys are still working, right? There's a, co a component to the economy that's still working. So as I mentioned that the S&P 500 is, is settling in, uh, the, the market itself is seeing through 
the bad economic data. And uh, so don't get spark spooked by the headlines. Uh, we, we will anticipate again, more volatility going forward. Uh, but just know that this is a part of the process and we're working our way through it and that the market is um, actually more positive than, than, than what our headlines have been recently. So that's a welcoming sight and uh, you know, thoughts and prayers to all the medical community and thank you for all you guys are doing. So, and, and I just say that all of us, you know, stay at home and uh, let's do our job as well. And if you need anything, we're here for you. So thanks for listening.